Hey Heavy Airsofters, this is Dreadonyx Heavy Airsoft, and today I'm going to do a comparison of the different grenades that are out in the airsoft world. Starting out with our first round here is the typical shotgun effect round, which has a punch to it, and it does, uh, it clears quite a bit, and it's got a lot of uh, cover. Wow, that, that woke me up. So this is one of the rounds that I used to use back in the earlier days, because this was pretty much that all was available uh, going like 10 years back. And uh, it's a, just a shotgun effect round, and it was pretty effective, but it was very close range. It was great for CBQ, clearing out large groups of players and using it in that regard. But overall, it didn't have the range in long fields. So it was very, it was good, but it wasn't great. Next, we had one of the more recent ones that came out is the 40 mic. And this thing here, whoo, these are by far one of my favorites. And I use these all the time. Though, they definitely, they got a punch. <laughs> Let's just say. <coughs> and especially in a lot of the videos that I put out. It uh, Honestly, it's very easy to do maintenance on it. It's just got three screws. It's got two O-rings on it that I just have to do maintenance on every rare once in a while. But for the most part, I've never had issues with any of these ones. Um, but overall, just... It worked out really well and uh, shoots in a straight line um, it shoots what was it? it says 240 feet per second yeah that's what it says on the label people say that it hurts but I mean for the most part you're gonna have to be pretty close and this is this is more of a long distance shot so you don't really want to be shooting that really close I'd say no more than at least 20 feet minimum engagement so you don't be aggressive when you use these things and you're just shooting someone point blank in a CBQ scenario. Don't do it. <laughs> now here's the secondary ones that they came out with because a lot of fields were actually banning a lot of the 40 mics and these are the master mic. And these ones have more of a cone and not a severe string effect and that actually works out really well. I can use these a lot more close and not have pe people don't never care about these ones. The master mics, people, they, they just, they get a little scared by that because it's, it's loud and it's going to startle you pretty quick. <laughs> but these actually work really well overall. They don't have the distance as much as the 40 mics do, but they still work for almost overall. They still work a lot better than the shotgun round by far. Then my most newly acquired round, which is the tangent round, which actually shoots these guys here. And I've only got to use these a couple of times so far, mainly because they're a little pricey. I think for just this, it was $80. And then for the rounds themselves, is $40. And there's two different types of rounds that you can actually use. And one, so that it's just a simple dummy round. And it will break apart on the impact. And it actually, it shoots out pretty good. I don't know the exact feet per second, but... It comes at you. I've, I haven't shot anyone with this. I kind of use this as more of an area effect if I shoot it in a building or shoot a shield. Mainly, I bought these so I can, they're my shield busters. And I tell people, are you okay if, if this counts as I break your shield when I use one of these kind of thing? So it makes it more fair when someone's using a shield on field. So it makes it nice that way. Then we have the blue tangent round. And this one actually, when it impacts, it has a powder effect on it. There we go. On it, where it'll kind of explode out and uh, just leave marks on the target. So it's kind of first, you'll actually see, okay, everyone got hit. Or even the powder's on you. So, hey. <laughs> so here actually is the box that the tangent rounds will come in. You can check that out. And uh, they actually come, I didn't say this, it comes in a pack of 10 of these. So they're one time shots for the blue characters here. So overall, with the tangent rounds, these are great, but they're. They get damage or they're one-time use and they're very expensive. So it's something that's very particular in using these characters. But overall, very fun. And it, when it pops, it pops. <laughs> so as you can see here, though, uh, just loading it, you literally you, you put your green gas in there or there's a CO2 version for it as well. Uh, you push the button in all the way so it caps the seal and then you fill it. And then you would put this character in here, and it's actually got a spiral, if you can actually see it in there, where you can see where it's ribbed right through there. 
and it slowly goes in there. Don't put that in. But um, that way it's got a spin on it as well, so it, it gets some distance. So as far as loading each individual one, I'd say this is going to be the most tedious one because you have to fill every single one of these, and it's just kind of held by kind of a, a rubber band around it, so it kind of keeps them all in there. So you want to have them all filled uh, every time that you're going to fill it up. And uh, this one holds 180. Uh, these two are pretty easy. You just speed loader and go. Um, that's what I love about these is these two is that they're just so quick to load. And you can just pop it in. You don't even have to like set the button. It's already set. You just fill it up with the gas on the top. Fill up with BBs and you're ready to go in like 20 seconds or 25 seconds or something like that. And then the easiest by far would be this because you're putting one round in and filling it up real quick. So... Very nice. Overall, just be careful when using these, though, especially the 40 mics and then the tangent rounds. Those ones definitely have the biggest kick. <laughs> these two are a little bit more safer overall, I would say, in comparison. So it's up to you, but have fun with it. I love them. Anyway, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more content that I'm going to be working on. Anyway, make sure you guys like and subscribe to the video. That way I can put out more of these videos. And stay tuned to the next content. Till next time, heavy air softers.